Hey, yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers, and we're back up in it. We're gonna do another Versus video. Uh, we're gonna do two Kobe's, two new Kobe's. Of course, the Kobe 11 uh, versus the Kobe Mentality 2. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Let's hop right in on that traction. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, so. Just quick disclaimer, I didn't have the Kobe Mentality 2s, you did, so this is gonna be more of a Sammy video, but I did have the 11s. Mm -hmm. So he'll probably just do more on the 11s, yeah. and I'll do the Mentality 2s. So, um, okay, so let's go over the traction, Kobe Mentality 2. It is a very hard rubber, you can play with it outdoors, and the traction- It's actually an, an outdoor shoe, yeah, right? Yeah, so um, it's designed for outdoors, but indoors, yeah. it's amazing. Uh, I rarely had to wipe, even though uh, I, I played on the dusty court. I rarely had to wipe. It, the shoe is super squeaky, and you stop on a dime. It's actually kind of scary how fast you stop in those. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice traction. The Kobe 11, uh, you want to go with Kobe 11? Yeah, the Kobe 11 is a translucent outsole, uh, which is, uh, it, the outsole didn't really perform well. It's a new traction pattern they're doing. It's just kind of lines going across it's not herringbone it's not uh what they had in the 10 it's not what they had in the nine which were both really good um the traction was actually really bad mm -hmm. in in the in the 11 so yeah. uh as far as traction goes that's a big win for the mentality too yeah so if you if you play on a clean court they're both really nice but if you play on a slightly dusty court the kobe 11 will pick up a lot of dust yeah. and um it picks for, up a lot of dust yeah so for us we uh we were sliding all over the place and yeah. we couldn't stick to the floor you know and that's a really big problem when you're playing basketball yeah so if you're playing on the dusty court um definitely go with the kobe mentalities if you're playing on a clean court uh you can pick either one you know right All right, now for the cushion, uh, what do we got in the mentality? Okay, so uh, the cushion in the mentality is a drop-in Lunar Lawn, full-length Lunar Lawn. It's the same thing as the Kobe 9s and the same thing as the mentality ones too. It's a, you feel really low to the ground. Lunar Lawn is really soft at first, but after a few months of playing in it, it does feel dead. So I'll just keep a look out for that. And also, uh, not a lot of impact protection for me. Uh, when I play in it a lot, I do get shin splints and my feet do hurt. So I try not to play in Lunar Lawn too much. Uh, but you do feel really low to the ground and uh, it's it's a kobe it's kobe shoe so it's more of like a guard shoe you know so right. you do feel really fast and low to the ground yeah for sure uh we have the same drop in midsole in the 11 not the same but it's a drop in midsole and it's lunar lawn however they added some technology to it they have a zoom air unit in the heel which is really nice it's thick you can really feel a nice uh, a nice bounce off of it the forefoot is um however very very thin uh, which is, supplies you a ton of cork feel, but it's almost scary thin mm -hmm. at, at, at some point, you know? And it also has free technology, which means it's uh, there's cuts in it to allow it to move more freely, mm -hmm. which, you know, I guess is good, but you can't really notice it that much. Yeah. Um, but which one did you like better? Um, I liked the Kobe 11 uh, mm -hmm. better, definitely, because the uh, Zoom Air unit and the heel. But um, I, I did have, it didn't happen to me a lot, but a few times when I would land hard uh, after jumping up from like a layup or something, and then I landed on the balls of my feet, um, and I landed really hard, uh, it would hurt my feet, you know? So I uh, just watch out for that, but I did like the Kobe 11 a little better. Right. Okay, uh, moving on to the upper and materials. Okay. Uh, what do we got in the Kobe mentality? So the mentalities have a fly weave material. Um, it's it's not as soft as the KDH. The KDH is really, really soft. But um, in the mentalities, it feels more like a fuse material. So um, it, it is still soft. It's way softer than a hyperfuse material, maybe like you, you'd find in a Kyrie 2, you know? Yeah. But uh, it's it's not as nice or premium feeling as the KD-8s or the Flyknit material in the uh, Kobe 11, so. Yeah, and yeah, the Kobe 11 is, uh, of course, Flyknit, and it's reinforced with uh, plastic threads, uh, which are TPU. Um, it, you know, it's it's a really nice, strong, sturdy Flyknit kind of material. It's not as soft as we'd like Flyknit to be in certain areas. You want it to be stiff in certain areas, but uh, you know places like the toe, it'd be nicer if it was a little softer. Mm -hmm. But I, I think uh, 
uppers upper wise and material wise we'd have to give it a win for the kobe 11. yep right so now moving on to fit slash support slash lockdown both of them were really really nice both of them are low tops and it's kind of uh crazy how simple both of the shoes are to me you know they're both super light both super minimal and simple you know uh the fit was uh very similar to me in both shoes uh, the materials went right over my toes on both shoes and a uh, lockdown was not a problem I was locked down my my foot was not moving around in the footbed at all um, And the heel lockdown was crazy good. Uh, the only problem I had with the Kobe mentalities too is the back part where um, it's like a Upside down U shape or an N shape and it, that dug straight into my Achilles when I bent my foot Yeah, it's like the opposite of an Achilles groove. Yeah, exactly. you know, you would want it to be cut out for your Achilles, you know yeah. Yeah. But it's actually the opposite and kind of digs sometimes mm -hmm. So, so yeah, uh, the uh, fit slash lockdown slash support, I would give it a tie, but um, just keep in mind for that Achilles thing in the mentality too. Yeah, that's always a strong point in a Kobe line, in a Kobe shoe, is they're always going to have really good lockdown. Mm -hmm. they, they, they usually always have, and the fit's always usually pretty good yep. too. A little narrow, some more than others, but all right, moving on to durability, what do you think? Uh, I uh, the up For the upper, I think they're both really durable. Mm -hmm. The uh, rubber, I would give it to the Kobe Mentality too, just because it's an outdoor shoe. Yeah. Uh, and the rubber is really soft on the Kobe 11s. Right. So um, durability would have to go to the Kobe Mentality too by a little bit. Right. Okay. Uh, ventilation. Ventilation, I would give it to the Kobe 11. There's a little bit more airflow in the Kobe 11s. Not saying the Kobe Mentalities are hot or anything, but uh, it was a little better in the Kobe 11s for me. Right. All right. And uh, aesthetics. Uh, Kobe 11. Kobe 11. <laughs> no questions asked. Yeah. It's a good looking shoe. It is, yeah. She's a beaut. Yeah, she's the beauty of her. She's a beauty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, so uh, final thoughts. Final thoughts. The, okay, so if price is a uh, kind of a deal breaker for you guys. What are the prices? Uh, $200 for the Kobe 11, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And then for the Mentality 2, it's $100. $100 difference. Yep. Is it worth it? Mm, no. No. So I think you guys, if price is a problem for you guys, I would definitely go with the Kobe Mentality 2s. Uh, they're basically the same shoe. The Kobe 11 just has a little bit nicer of a material. But the traction, like I said, if you play on a clean court, they're both good. But if you play on a dusty court, definitely get the Kobe Mentality 2s. Mm -hmm. um, the materials, the Kobe 11 was a little bit better. Uh, fit slash support slash lockdown, both of them were really nice for me. I would recommend the Kobe Mentality 2 just because it's uh, a lot cheaper. First of all, and second, um, everything is basically the same besides the traction and then the heel unit in the Kobe 11. Yeah. You know, so, um, yeah. $100, $100 cheaper and traction is going to be, it's just going to perform better in all areas. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about the traction in, in the 11, I mean in the uh, mentality too. Mm -hmm. In the 11, you're going to have to worry about it. Yeah. You're going to, mark my words, you know. <laughs> not every, Not everyone's playing on a pristine court all the time. Yeah. So that's a win for the Kobe Mentality 2. Um, thank you guys for watching. We got more versus videos coming up, ton of content. Make sure you uh, check us out on Twitter and Instagram and also on our website, thesoulbros.com. And also we are starting a new channel. It's called Trendsy. Um, so if you guys want to check us out, you can click right here. Uh, we're, we're doing, I don't know what we're going to do. We're doing stuff, so. <laughs> we're just doing shit. Yeah, just, just check us out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. My name is Don. Samuel here. We are the Soul Brothers. Later. Peace. Can you come here? Every single time. Every time. <laughs>